Hey all my crafty friends. I am here for a how to video. And um, what I'm gonna talk about today is our gloss sprays and um, how to use them, what you can use them on um, and show you different techniques and different projects that I created using those techniques. And just kind of get you excited about the idea of having some of our gloss sprays in your stash and using them with your products. So. You can get these at my website at scrapwithamber.clustomyheart.com and they are in our core catalog on page 80. And there are six different colors. You can see them all right here. So we have fuchsia, cheddar, lime, ocean, turquoise, and night. And it's a good collection to have lots of fun different colors and you guys, I use them all the time. So. I highly suggest them. And then we do have some other mixed media things you can go along with those, like some daubers, some stencils, and just some fun things. And you guys, our stencils are 12 by 12. They're huge. So um, it's an awesome value for what you're getting. Okay, so let's get into this. Put that aside. I have all of my colors here and they're loved and used. So just look past that. <laughs> okay, so these are in a spray bottle, and um, like I said, I've used mine a lot, and I've let other people use them, so they're a little messy, but you want to think of these as a can of spray paint, okay? You hear that? There's a ball in there, so every time you use these, you want to make sure that you are shaking them very well before you use them. Okay, and when you store them, you do want to store them sitting straight up. Um, you don't want them leaking anywhere. And yeah, you just want to shake them before you use them. So that is your storing them and using them, shake them first. But let's get into some of the techniques that um, you can use, or rather let's start with um, what you should have on hand, okay? You should have on hand some paper towels, some Clorox wipes or baby wipes. <laughs> and for sure, for sure, you guys, you're gonna want the all-purpose mat down underneath you where you're working so that you are making a mess on that, which is easy to clean up as opposed to your workspace. Okay, guys, I have two mats down here. You can probably tell because they're kind of a different color. One's older than the other. And um, this stuff, when it dries, you can either use your nail and it scrapes right off or when it's wet, you can get it. And um, as you can see, there's some on here because I use it all the time and it just scrapes right off of these mats. So it's very awesome to use. Okay, so we have six different colors. You may be asking yourself, well, what do they look like on paper? So I've gone ahead and I have sprayed them all on a white and a black, but let's look at white first. So we have our turquoise here, fuchsia. This is ocean, lime, night, and cheddar. And um, you can see that it does soak into the paper, but then on this lime one, I sprayed even more. And once it soaks into the paper, it sits on top of the paper and gives you that really nice gloss look. Do you see that? Totally awesome. So you can spray it as light or as heavy as you want, depending on what you want it to look like on your paper. Now let's look at the black and show you. This again is the turquoise, the fuchsia, which is our pink color. This is ocean, cheddar, night, which you can barely see the night. And lime green looks awesome on the black, you guys. I think these two colors are my favorite on the black. Um, but so you can spray it on different colors, on white, whatever you want to do. Now, when I first pulled out these sprays, I pulled them out and I just played with it because I wanted to see what they could do, okay? And what I suggest if you do that is to have, I went on my Cricut and I cut a bunch of 
tags. I cut out a bunch of card front sizes and I just have a bunch of paper on hand that I want to um, be able to do different techniques on, play with. And the reason I did that is because when I was done, I then have all these fun tags and things that I can play with and do fun things with them or card fronts that I can use for cards that are pre-made. So if I'm in a jam and I need to make something quick, I can go to that pile and grab something and create it. So we are going to get started and I will show you some of these fun things that the gloss sprays can do. Okay, so for our first technique, we are just going to be using these and spraying them on paper. Now, I have my card front here that I'm gonna be spraying on, but I also have a few extras here because when I spray, it's gonna have an overspray on my project. And what I want these for is to pick up that extra. Now you don't have to do this. You could just wipe it and clean it. But I like the idea of not wasting. And so I will use that as some pickup, okay? Now I chose these three colors. I got the, the blues basically. We got turquoise, night, and ocean. And I'm just going to spray them and show you if you spray them wet on wet, they're going to mix really well together. I already shook all these, took a break and shook. Okay, do you see how they kind of, they interact with each other and they separate from one another. Okay, and then we can go back in with some more because after it soaks onto the paper, remember, it's going to sit on top of it. So we're just gonna put a little bit more blues. And then I'm gonna take this aside, let it dry right there. I'm gonna grab my tag and I'm just going to use it to pick up some of that extra color and it kind of mixes on this as well okay so um lots of fun things you can do with that extra on your mat okay so i'm going to save this because i want to do something with that Okay, just gonna clean up my mess now. You can see how nicely this cleans up. And then I am gonna dry up my station. Okay. So my next one, um, I'm actually going to do this on one of my little tags. What I want to do real quick is I'm going to, and let's do a couple of things here. Let's do two. I'm going to do a card front and I'm going to do a tag. And I'm just going to spray them, okay? Spray, spray, spray. And then I'm going to set these aside because I do want these to dry. And then we're gonna come back to them and do a couple of fun things with them. Okay, so see how I have this tag and it's just that little spot? I'm going to run some of that and bend my card up so that it just is touching that white spot. How cool is that? So then it's like a stripe of it. Okay. Wipe this up. Now you guys could use more tags and make more um, pickups with this, with the product, so that you're not wasting as much. But I am just trying to show you guys some of these fun techniques. Okay. So, it doesn't take very long for these to dry. 
and um, that one's a little wetter because it's bigger. I'm gonna take this tag and I wanna show you guys. So you can spray it, let it dry, and then take another color and spray it on top. Now, because these soak into the paper and then they sit on top, this is gonna sit more on top because the pink has already soaked into that paper. Do you see that? Do you see how it's not soaking into it? It's sitting on top because the pink already soaked it up. How cool is that? I'm just gonna pick up some of that light blue here onto my tag. But look, that's so cool. I love that it soaks in and then it sits on top and it's glossy. And so that's gonna be shiny on top of that, you guys. Totally cool. Okay, so let's bring in this bad boy. Are we dry? Yep, we're dry. Okay, sometimes it's hard to tell if they're dry because it's glossy and it's like, oh, it looks wet still. But it's just, it's dry, I promise. <laughs> okay, so I am actually going to bring in a stencil and some of our pigment-based ink in the color White Daisy. I have a dauber here. And this is one of our large 12 by 12 stencils and it had nine different images of stencils. I just chopped it up, you guys, to make it easier to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna get some ink on my dauber here and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap this ink onto the stencil. Our ink sits beautifully on this. Now you can use a heat gun and dry it. If you guys know anything about pigment-based ink, you know that it takes a little bit longer to dry, but it will get there. Okay, so I'm just tap, 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 tap. And then we'll lift this stencil and look how cool that is. You guys can do stenciling over the top of it. Let me just bring in a project that I did earlier. Look at that, the cute butterflies. This one has some triangles on it. And again, I just took a bunch of card bases and played with it, you guys. And now I have these card bases that I can go back through and make cards out of it. So that's a really fun technique. So you are gonna wanna let this dry for a little bit. Okay, let's just wipe this stencil down. I love these mats, you guys. I'm telling you, if you do not own an all-purpose mat, you need one in your life. <laughs> just saying. You just, you need it. You need it in your life. It cleans up so beautifully. Okay. Awesome. So there's another fun technique. Let's move some of these to the side here. We'll go back through all of the stuff that I've done in a moment. Okay, so let's move on. You guys have probably seen in some of my videos that I like to use packaging. Look, you guys, I have stuff all sitting right here in front of me because I like to do it all the time. So I have packaging here. We're gonna do a smushing technique with these sprays, okay? So let's use some cheddar. I haven't used cheddar yet. And we're just gonna spray it on my mat. And then I'm gonna take the packaging and I'm gonna lift it and do the same thing I would with ink, but with this gloss spray. Look how cool that is, you guys. I love doing some smushing. Awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for just a second. I'm gonna take a tag. I'm gonna lift up some of this color. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wipe up my excess. What color? I think we should do night with this. So now I'm gonna spray my night right onto, I think my nozzle needs to be cleaned a little. 
And I'm gonna take my packaging. Let's just wipe this a little. Okay, and I'm going to smush, smush, smush that night. And we'll put it on the tag first. How about that? Look how cool. Okay, and then I'm gonna slide it around, smush, smush, smush. And we're going to put it on my card friend. And everywhere that that ink has soaked into the um, paper, the yellow, this purplish blue, the night, is going to sit on top of it, remember? Look how cool this looks, you guys. I love these ones. Eek! Look how cool! Okay. Let's wipe this. So that is smushing. Lots of fun things you can do with smushing. Let me show you guys a piece of artwork that I have with smushing. Let's see here. I know I have something with smushing. Here we go. I made a cute card. And I just smushed. This one has the turquoise and the fuchsia. And then I just add a floral uh, sentiment, some enamel dots, some of our embroidery um, thread. So just a cute, easy card. So how easy is it to take one of those, add just a little bit, and boom, you have a cute card. Okay. So let's see, what's another t fun technique? So you guys saw me doing this one already. Um, it was fun, it's, it's way fun. So let's grab, just gonna put a little bit there. Some night, some fuchsia, and let's do some lime. I don't know if I've used lime yet. Okay, so I've, I have my three colors four colors. I can count, I promise. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my paper through it. Look how cool that is. I love this, you guys. I love, love, love. And then you can go back the other way if you want. Look how cool that is. Let's take a tag. So you can get lots of fun looks just sliding across your mat here. So that's another fun technique. Let me just show you a card I did with that, a very simple card. I took it and then I chopped it up, boom, 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 made a card. This tag is also done with that sliding technique. Okay, here's another one, sliding technique, just a card front that's already done that I can make later. Okay. Let's see here. I'm trying to look at all my examples that I've done before because I've done this video on Facebook Live before and so I'm just kind of going through all the things that I've already done. Look you guys this has started to dry already. That's fine. I'm just going to go through with my nail and pick it up. Okay so this next one's really fun. Really really fun. Okay, so what, what should we do here, guys? What should we do? Mm, I haven't done lots of green. So I'm going to take green and spray on my paper, and then I'm going to let it drip and tap. Then I'll take some pink, and again, tap it, tap, 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 tap. And we're going to take some turquoise. Tap, 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 tap. Well, let's take some night because it's open. And tap, 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 tap. And you can do that where it just slides and you get that dripping effect. Okay. I'm just picking up some of this extra because I like to do that. And then some of these look really cool, you guys. But there's also something else we can do with this that I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Okay, so let me show you a few things that I've done with this dripping technique. Okay, I have 
a card. Just says happy birthday. How simple, easy, super cute card front. Okay. I have a card. I've also done that technique here on this eight and a half by 11 page, but I did it on a bigger scale, let it drip and then created a page on top of it. How cool is that? You guys, I am obsessed with these glitters or these gloss sprays. Such fun, cute ideas. Here's a tag that I did it on just three colors. So lots of fun things you can do with that idea. Okay, so let's move on and do some more stencil work, guys. Let's do some more stencils. So I'm gonna pull back out this blue one that we did at the beginning. Do you guys remember that one? We did this blue. Let's see here. I want, I don't really want this stencil. Let's grab a different stencil real quick. Sure, why not? This one's bigger. And it's gonna cover my whole piece, right? So before I use the white ink, this time, this is gonna sit on top of it. Remember, because that paper's already soaked. So this is gonna be cool. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna hold our stencil and we're just gonna spray this gloss spray on top. I'm going to lift it. And now we have a stencil on top of that. How cool is that? I am gonna grab this piece of paper because um, I don't wanna waste any of this and I'm gonna print it. So I'm just gonna press down on the stencil and voila, look how cool that is. You have more, so you're not wasting. Don't waste the ink, guys. <laughs> let's, let's not waste it. Because like I'm saying, I'm telling you guys, there's some fun things we're gonna do with this in just a second. Okay, let's clean off our stencil. This is part of the fun, right? It's cleaning up. Cleaning up our mess. See why I said you want some wipes and some um, paper towels on hand? Because we're gonna be using them. Just saying. Okay, that was fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's put that stencil away for a minute. Put that aside to dry. Lots of stuff drying here, guys. That's okay. Okay, here's another fun technique. Do you guys know what a brayer is? A brayer is one of these rolly things, right? Lots of fun things you can do with a brayer. Where can a brayer some of this color on? So let's take some cheddar. And again, just like when I smushed, I'm gonna spray directly onto the mat. I'm gonna roll my brayer in it, and then I'm going to brayer that on. How fun is that? Now you can, to clean your brayer, you can either roll it on a piece of paper, a paper towel, paper towel kind of sticks. And we're gonna clean this up real quick because I wanna pull in another color. And we're going to brayer another color. Okay, so I'm going to brayer this. And I'm going to go right over the top. Look how cool that looks. I love this look, you guys. Um, you could even see how I'm using this for excess, right? So I'm going to show you some fun stuff. We'll pick up some of this. So you can have big pieces that you're picking up stuff with and doing fun things with because there's, um, we're getting there, you guys, to the fun part. But look how cool that is. So using a brayer, you can do lots of fun things with these as well. I'm just going to set my brayer to the side here. And we will move on to another fun technique okay, okay so that was the brayer let's see what else do i have here that we can do or should we just move on oh you can use things to block you guys check this out so i have somewhere a wood heart from one of my wood albums that i did i have no idea where i put it 
It was sitting here just a second ago. Anyway, but you could take a piece of paper that you cut and um, from like your Cricut or whatever, or a punched image, lay it down, spray, spray some more and do fun things that way and um, block the color and make images. Does that make sense? So that's another fun technique you can do. Um, and then if you can tell, we're gonna take this, there's little splatters on this. Do you see those little splatters? Now this is the number one thing I use um, our sprays for, okay? This is the number one thing, is splatters. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to do. And you just take it and you open it and you use this part and you tap it and look how cute. How cute is that? I have some, let's pick up some of this. But I love using it for splatters and you can use multiple colors. Let's put, bring in some of this blue. Maybe you can see that a little bit better. Now, if you do this on a scrapbook page and your pictures are already on there, you do want to cover your um, picture before you do your splatters. But I absolutely love this look, you guys. This is the number one thing I do with my gloss sprays. Okay, moving on. Let's move on to some fun techniques you can do with um, a stencil on a large sheet of paper. Okay, so here I have, I laid down a stencil, okay? I sprayed three colors and I left my stencil there. So let's just pretend this is that stencil. I laid it down, I sprayed my colors, and then I took another sheet, just like I did over here, and I printed it. And you can see where I rubbed it. You rub, 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 and you take off, take off your stencil, and then you have two prints, you guys, and they're opposite each other. And then you have, you can cut this up and use it just as a B&T piece of paper, a decorative paper, and use it in your scrapbooking. You can use it as the base of your page. And I'm gonna show you guys, I did do that here. It looked like this, okay? And I decided I was going to use it as my base. And so then I took it and I put stuff on top of it and made a cute fall page with it. How fun is that? I'm telling you, if you guys just sit down, play with this stuff, make a bunch of stuff, you will have things that you can use in your crafting for weeks to come. So that was a really fun technique that I did. I'm gonna pull in another page that I have here. This one, I actually took washi tape and I laid washi tape across my back paper and then I sprayed my different colors and then I carefully removed that washi tape and it gave me this stripe paper for the background of this page. How cute, you guys. And then it, it, look, it looks like my daughter's life jacket. I am obsessed with this page. It turned out so cute. And then I just mixed and matched a bunch of different paper packs to create this page. Again, look at this, you guys, my hands are dirty. This, you'll get messy, it's fun. If you like to get messy, this is a fun, 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 fun thing. Okay, so that's another fun technique. Let's move on to a fun thing you can do with these leftovers. Okay, so I have all these tags, right? That I picked up stuff. I have some papers that I picked up stuff. Now you can use these as tags or card fronts or what have you, but you also can then take and use your die cuts with these, you guys. Check out some of these things that I have done. So there's this page I have, and I actually um, slid the yellow on some of this, and um, then I cut out on my Cricut Z104 because I wanted yellow letters, and it just turned out really fun. So you can create your own things. You can use some of our die cuts that are alphabets for this, but I did use the Cricut. You do want to make sure that it's not too small of an image because it was wet at some point. It does 
kind of interfere on your Cricut, okay? But with your die cuts, it doesn't. So then there's this one, and you can see here, I have florals. And these are a lot of those ones that are just random. Like they look like they were spray painted. And how fun is that? I made florals out of it. And I mean, I never could recreate that again. So nobody else is going to have that on their page. And then also the back of my photo here is one that I used a stencil on. So that is a fun other technique on here. And then you can see I do have splatters even on this page um, around my floral and up here in this top section. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys. These are some of my favorite things I made. We have some really cool leaf dyes and I did leaves. Look how cool these are. I haven't used them on a page yet, but I do love them. I am going to use them. It's gonna be so much fun. I love that I, I didn't waste really a lot of ink because I was able to do things like this with the leftovers. Okay, I do have a couple more cards I wanna show you that I did. So there's this spray one, right? Which is like the beginning where we just kind of sprayed onto some ink here, or you could take like this one. And then I took a piece of black, tore it down the middle, separated it. So now it kind of looks like a geode where it has the fun sparklies inside and then the black hair. And then I added some splatters in the same colors that we're showing. And it, then good luck. How simple is that card, you guys? It's flat, it's gonna mail easy, very fun card there. And then I did on this one, I stamped just in black on top of it. And I did this fun um, heart shape here and then added with all my love. So another fun, easy card you can do with these gloss sprays. So I'm just gonna throw in some of these fun things that I've done so you guys can see them again. And show you guys, just it's just so much fun to play with these different techniques you can do on or with these gloss sprays. So I highly suggest you go and you grab some for yourself. You can play with them. Make sure you get yourself an all-purpose mat if you do want to get some of these and play with them or you have something like that in your inventory, in your stash to use with the sprays just so you're not making a big mess. And then paper towels, Clorox wipes, baby wipes, something like that. Um, I would love to see anything you guys make with it. If you want, you can post them on Facebook and tag me. Um, if you use the hashtag scrap with Amber, that's usually what you can find all my stuff, um, tagged with and yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope this, um, encourages you to go out and get some sprays and get some for yourself. Again, scrap with is where you can get yourself some. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.